It's Monday, December 29th, 2025. Last week, we saw a substantial cold wave burst out of Russia and move westward across Europe. Temperatures dropped and several places received snowfall, but that was only the beginning. While this cold air was making its way south and west across Europe, a milder air mass started to invade again from the north. But like I mentioned in the last video, the potential for more cold waves would continue. Now with newer model guidance as we start this week, we have a much clearer idea about what's coming up for the final days of 2025 and for the beginning of 2026, and one thing is for sure, things are looking very dynamic. Let's start off this discussion with the current conditions as of Monday afternoon. Lots of snow showers are spreading south out of the Arctic Ocean as very cold air mass moves in. Over Finland, you'll notice an area of snowfall in association with this low-pressure system making its way towards St. Petersburg, Russia. In between Sweden and Finland, an episode of ocean effect snowfall is ongoing. This is a common side effect of a cold air mass moving over a warm body of water, which in this case is the Baltic Sea. Looking a little further south, here's another area of low pressure. This is actually the decaying remnants of a powerful storm which struck Norway over the weekend and then slid down through eastern Europe with strong winds and some snow. It continues to produce light snowfall today, but the more significant aspect is the cold air falling behind it and moving over the Black Sea. This is also resulting in sea effect precipitation, and it's heavily affecting Turkey and Georgia. Those showers are starting off as heavy downpours and even thunderstorms, but once they move inland and encounter colder air, precipitation is able to reach the ground as snow, leading to frequent bursts of heavy snowfall along with lightning. Across the rest of Europe, there isn't too much more going on at the moment. Several sheets of low cloud are sitting over Russia and throughout Europe with generally clearer skies further south. The only exceptions are some scattered showers and storms lingering around eastern Spain and also towards the Middle East. As we just saw, much colder air is becoming well established across northern and eastern Europe after that intrusion of milder air last week. These are the beginning stages of this increasingly cold and snowy pattern. So what's coming up next? Let's go back to that low currently over Finland. It's really not a significant system at all, but it is an indication of the frigid air mass falling right behind it. As we go through the day today, it will sink down into southern Scandinavia and into central Europe, and then by the evening hours, snow showers will be developing and moving through Poland, parts of Germany, and even Denmark, and then spreading across Czechia, Slovakia, Austria, and parts of Hungary and Romania overnight. Despite a brief improvement around the Black Sea, those sea effect snow bands look to intensify overnight and into Tuesday for the Baltic Sea, in addition to further rounds of snow showers in the Baltic states, Belarus, and Ukraine. Conditions deteriorate once again late Tuesday around the Black Sea and the eastern Mediterranean as this system keeps pushing south, so another round of very heavy snow and rainfall is expected to unfold by midweek. Make sure you keep an eye on this region as I keep pushing this forward, but I do need to mention this sneaky system moving in through the Norwegian Sea, since it is a predecessor to a much more significant event just in time for January 1st. It looks insignificant, but once it reaches the Baltic Sea on Tuesday night into Wednesday, it becomes a bit more noticeable. This will bring another round of snowfall throughout Central Europe and eventually parts of the Balkans right up until the arrival of those two big systems right on New Year's Day. Now things are really going to get dynamic. That big system emerging in the Norwegian Sea should arrive in Scandinavia late on Wednesday with impacts escalating on New Year's Day. That other low pushing into Portugal will be a big rainmaker initially, but watch what happens next. As that big low in northern Europe pushes south and east, snow showers are going to sprawl out across central and eastern Europe, and then as it progresses, yet another frigid air mass is going to be following behind it. That will cause snow showers down into the North Sea and potentially even affecting other parts of the UK besides Scotland going into Friday, January 2nd, but it doesn't stop here. Cold air continues to make its way south over the weekend, and with this low around Iberia continuing to push moisture deeper into mainland Europe, snow could break out in parts of France, the Alps, and central Europe before advancing south and east by the start of next week. Snow showers continue streaming in from the north, indicating that very cold air has become established in northern and western Europe. That means that any new disturbances sneaking off the Atlantic will have a very good chance at producing widespread snowfall. The question is when and where. I'll definitely keep you updated on the latest developments as this very dynamic and unpredictable pattern unfolds, but for now here's a look at the possible snowfall totals just through Saturday. Northern Europe could see quite a bit of snow, especially in places that are most exposed to sea effect snow showers, and also where the heaviest precipitation sets up with that system moving in on New Year's Day across Norway and Sweden. I'm also closely watching the potential for heavy snow extending from eastern France and throughout the Alps, central Europe and the Baltic states, Belarus, and even some parts of the Balkan Peninsula. And that's not to mention the impressive snow totals coming for Turkey and Georgia from a major snowstorm ramping up late Tuesday and continuing on Thursday. 
It's clear that we have lots to watch over the next couple of weeks, so if you did enjoy this forecast and you'd like to stay updated on the latest developments, consider subscribing to the channel and also checking out my other socials. I posted the links in the description and in the pinned comment below. Now to conclude, please enjoy today's featured media slideshow. 